What's up everyone watching for the CJ Pony Parts channel. This is Aaron Duncan with Duncan Brothers Customs and CJ's was a big sponsor on our SEMA build this year, what we we're calling the Frankenboss. And the reason it's called the Frankenboss is because it's a 2012 Boss 302 Laguna Seca that we wanted to pull ideas from kind of every muscle car to do. Now, if you don't know what we normally do, we take new Mustangs and rebody them to look like old ones. In the past, CJ's has featured our John Wick car, a couple of our Shelbys, um, you name it, we've uh, done, done it all. But we wanted to do a real resto mod kind of thing um, in the vein of the Ring Brothers almost uh, for this year's SEMA build. So what we took was our Boss 302 and we just kind of started imagining things from there. So starting from the very front of the car, um, obviously you see this hood and um, it might or might not look like a Mustang hood to some people. And essentially the under part of the hood is your stock 2012. Uh, the top side is our 69 mold all the way to about right here. And this is where things change. And what we did was we cut up a 68 GTO and literally fit it all together. Um, and now you're kind of getting more of an idea of the Frankenstein theme where we're kind of mixing, you know, three different worlds of car parts. And then our 70 headlight buckets that we got directly from CJ Pony Parts. Um, we used an HID that came out of a 2012 California Special and moved it in place of the faux air duct that's normally on the 70 buckets. And then we moved the, um, set the faux air duct down to our custom rear pan and routed it to the brakes. Um, so making everything functional, making it work as best we could was kind of the name of the game. And actual uh, 69 chin spoiler, we just had it wrapped in carbon fiber and then added these raises to kind of route air to the ducts a little bit better. And then we move here. Obviously, we have uh, you know our custom fenders made to look like a 69 and 70 Mustang fender, and then coming around. Oh, excuse me, guys. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. Uh, our 69 door panel that we shaved the door handles on this time. Uh, once again, kind of going in a resto mod sort of way. Um, and another thing, we didn't want to do chrome wheels again. So uh, American Racing just had released uh, this bronze set of wheels. I think it's the TTF series and we did them wrapped in nitto nt triple five g2s and on a with bayer six piston calipers all the way around monster green also was the name of the calipers uh s550 side splitters that we decided to put on here and then have them carbon fibered as well um, you can see kind of like our faux quarter window and then our own quarter scoops and then another thing i always loved the look of 69 Dodge Chargers. I always thought they had a really cool look and not because of Dukes of Hazard necessarily, but um, I always liked the way the windshield recessed. So that was something we wanted to aim for in this car. So we actually sort of built around the windshield and used our quarters to raise them a hair and have the windshield set down in place. Uh, made a totally different trunk, one we've never done before. So it would kind of start where um, the end cap start and then swoop down and go straight into the rear glass. And then uh, 69 Mustang taillight panel, remove the fuel door because obviously our fuel door is right here. And uh, that fuel door actually came from a 1999 Ford Windstar, not even a joke. We just figured out it fit somehow. Um, and then uh, flush mounted taillights with carbon fiber bezels. Uh, C7 Corvette diffusers uh, that we kind of modified to make work. And then um, actual steel 69 rear bumper, but we widened it, fringed it, and then made it fit into this car. So a lot of little knickknacks. Um, I would say a little bit of every kind of muscle car, something people could appreciate. Mopar guys, GM guys, Ford guys should all be able to find something that they like for sure. So the interior, we had custom seats made from Aaliyah leather. And then they did our door panels too, but. And you can see our uh, headlight maker, Redline Lumetronics, which you can pick up from CJ Pony Parts. Um, they custom made these headlights for us that have the Boss 302 logo that we played with a little bit and added the little bolts on the side of the Boss letters too. Eliminated the chrome trim, added carbon fiber. And then underneath the hood, absolutely stunning. factory Boss 302 motor. We didn't really touch it too much. We kind of wanted to honor what was there. And you can see the data plate on top that shows this was a Laguna Seca. Um, and then we have our custom radiator cover we made as well. So, But that's our SEMA build for uh, 2023. Obviously, we want to thank CJ Pony Parts for not only helping us out um, with many, many parts on this car, but you guys also helped us in the 11th hour. Kind of a funny story. 
our uh, drivers, our, uh, the tow company that we had that was supposed to be awesome, uh, decided they would show up early and they wanted to ditch the car. And um, I didn't really know who to call, so I called uh, Bill and he was able to house it in the CJ's warehouse for us to keep it safe until the day we pulled it into SEMA. So thank you also for that, CJ's. You guys, uh, we owe you one. <laughs>